y'all. It's Paula, Hillbilly Orchids. Back again to do my weekend walk around in my jungle. <laughs> um, hopefully we can see decently on this side. We only got the one shelf to, to complete over here. But I did want to show you. I moved um, <clears throat> my um, Cernua over here. My Cattleya Cernua. Which it is I'm pretty sure it's kind of the background's kind of drowning everything out. But I moved it over here so that uh, it would get a little bit better light. So, um, <clears throat> but that's why I moved it. Um, it was, it's actually, it sits on the other side of the room, which we haven't gotten to yet normally. But, um, yeah, I wanted to wanted to put it over here to get more light and I'm going to be really careful this time and watch the time so that we don't make this as long so I'm going to try not to chit chat so much but I hope everybody's doing really really great um I might go ahead and add in um I've had quite a few new subscribers which I really appreciate appreciate all my new subscribers all my old subscribers um everybody's just really being so supportive and great and I'm just so thankful that I have every one of you I mean, it's just really awesome. Um, this little guy here, this is, um, I cannot say that name, uh, and it's probably changed by now, but it's Village Chief Parfum. Um, this is a real pretty, uh, has a real pretty whitish like bloom on it um, I need to actually repot this guy but I'll get to that one of these days <laughs> that little guy is up here on this top shelf <clears throat> um, and I'm gonna probably what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pause this a little bit um, I'm gonna show you what's up here and then uh, yeah I actually had surprise blooms today um, that uh, not Lorenziana that uh, Michael McCarthy sent me finally bloomed so but this this big gal here in front of us this is my Elmhurst green this was one of my little uh, two inch potted bag babies nine years ago <laughs> so as you can see she's gotten to be huge very big very mature beautiful plant she has five new growths this year which you know I really hope you know means we'll have a decent amount of blooms on it so far the most I've had on her is four so we shall see but I'm gonna pause and move her off of the shelf so that we can see the rest of the stuff so hang tight I'll be right back okay and we are back all right this one here I'm not sure if we really got a good look at this one uh, when it was over on the table I did move it over here for better light this is my um, Jumbo Grace Catacetum. I'm waiting on something to happen. So far, not nothing. <laughs> That's how it usually goes. Um, this little guy here, this is a division of my um, Snowflake, my uh, Die Catlea Snowflake Northern. Um, this is part of a division when I uh, chopped it up and sent a piece to um, <clears throat> Patrick. Um, of course, like I said, you've seen the uh, Laurentiana, not Laurentiana here in bloom that Michael sent me. <laughs> it's so cute. <laughs> it really is. I was like, I wasn't expecting it to open last night, but I got up this morning, boom, there she was. Back on this side, this big baby here, this is my um, Francis Fox that uh, I'm fussing and fighting with to get to bloom. I really hope that uh, this new, this new, new growth right here, I'm hoping maybe it'll put up a spike. It has like a nubbins right there that, I mean, it keeps growing. It's breaking the, the skin. Um, it just doesn't seem to be continuing to pop through and and grow so I'm not sure what to do with it I keep giving it some uh, cow mag soaks but hoping that it goes ahead and you know comes through for me but so far nothing <laughs> um, 
this big gal back here, this is my um, RLC Jessie Lee. Uh, she's got two new growths on her and it's hard to see, but you see them there? I see two buds in there getting ready to pop out. So I'm hoping that uh, she's back there comes up too. This little guy right here, this is the, um, uh, what did I say? I told, uh, that's the sunburst. Um, Nicole, uh, she just got one and I was telling her about that. I was like, there's the, I have a sunburst too. Really excited. Can't wait. Hopefully this, I'm hoping this new growth blooms this year. Maybe this spring, hopefully. Um, <clears throat> this little guy here, this is another Francis Fox I have. Um, I've bought like, I think three and all of them died this one a lot died back that was with this one uh, this one was a questionable fossarium um, I but now I'm pretty sure it was just like the woody you know you can you sometimes you can cut the rhizome and it looks like wood it's not really dark purple it's just kind of brown that's what it had but I went ahead and treated it so and it's never skipped a beat uh, since I've treated it. I mean, you can see it's got good roots and it's growing good. So I really don't think it had fossarium, but one of them I did have did and it did did die. It's no longer here. This is, uh, this is RLC Settle Me Down. This one's another one that Michael McCarthy gave me. Um, got nice new growth on it here. These two here, they didn't get very big, they came with the plant when I got it and um, of course I repotted it and everything but um, I think it kind of set it back when I did that so and the big guy back here behind the not Laurentiana that is the um, the snowflake the northern snowflake putting up two spikes there so we're gonna see those blooms again here before long so that's this shelf here so we'll get ready to head over and start the other shelf and uh, we'll go from there with the time frame and see where we're at but hang on guys i'll be right back actually you can look at that pretty thing while i'm waiting okay next up we'll hit this table here um i do have a couple of them here sitting here that um i have to place them i need to I need to move them and I need to figure out where I need to move them to. This is um, Tias, Tiasco, Tiasco, yeah, yeah, whatever. <laughs> Marguerite. <laughs> it's early yet. I can't, I can't talk. This one here, I'm probably going to find a new home for this summer. I'm not, uh, it's getting so big and everything and it's not really a true, true twinkle. So I'm iffy about this one. Um, don't know whether I'll keep it or not. <clears throat> then uh, we got the um, Catacetum um, Wine Delight that I just purchased off of Yoshi. The spike's already over, and so now she'll get to go dormant. And there's just a Dendrobium back there that is, uh, I think it's, uh, what is that one? Oh, that's uh, Emerald Splash, that one is. And then, of course, there's the uh, big um, Stanhopia that uh, Justin gifted me. Doing good. And, of course, then you have my, um, my big uh, nine spike um, Tetraspis C1. Couldn't think. <laughs> so... Uh, some of the blooms starting to go over on it now, but so all right, hang on one second. We'll be back and we'll start on that top shelf up there. Okay, sorry about that. Another little segment here. I forgot about these guys. I moved them. They were sitting on the top shelf, but <clears throat> excuse me. That's because um, this one here, the Belina, I did. Um, I used the Kiki paste. And I thought she was producing a um, kiki. I'm still not sure. I think that's just, um, I think it's just going to branch. But it's wanting to grow back towards the light where I had it sitting. 
so that's why I moved it and uh, I did the same thing on the um, there it is on the Violacea um, it's still a little young yet I'm not sure what it's gonna be but I think it's killing that spike so I'm a little nervous about <clears throat> what what that's gonna do but I still have two more spikes on her so um, and if it does it does but I was just checking out the Kiki paste but um, I wanted to make sure I included these guys because like I said I moved them so there's a bare spot on the upper shelf so hang on be right back again okay I am back now this is the shelf I'm hoping that we're gonna be able to get done um, <laughs> There's a lot of different things on it, but we'll go through and see if we can't get through them and uh, show you what's going on. So right here in front of you, this is the uh, Galliandra Bowery. Um, supposed to be kind of dormant like the uh, Catacetums are, but it's put up a new growth already. Uh, this right here, that's just a couple of... Uh, divisions pieces of uh, different plants so it's not anything particular just put in husk and hoping that maybe it'll root <clears throat> this uh, this one here is um, a knocked over plant on the bottom shelf sorry guys uh, this one here is um, I'm spinning around got a nice new growth this one's one, uh, me and uh, Michael McCarthy seen this one. It's Cattleya Walkeriana Pink. Um, so we're gonna be real curious to see if it's actually pink or if it's just the purple ones, but we saw this and me and him both decided we'd get one and see what it does. And this little guy here, this is, um, Gaskiliana. This is Cattleya Gaskiliana. Um, this plant's kind of given me fits over the years. I don't know why. I mean, it, it puts up new growth, but then it, it the leaves fall off of them like that, or they grow a little weird, a little wonky. So, I tried potting it differently and putting it in husk. And we'll go from there and see what happens with it. <clears throat> All right. This little guy here, this is my um, major rescue that I purchased several years ago. This is uh, Little Hazel, um, Red Jewel. This one, uh, it puts out some nice, nice red blooms. It just actually got done blooming for me. But that's a nice one now, finally. And... this little guy here well he's not so little anymore but he was a seedling this is um <laughs> this is one of them ebay purchases that uh is supposed to be uh blooming size purpurata carnia <laughs> yeah okay yeah it certainly wasn't a blooming size but it's doing pretty good all right <clears throat> let's see this little guy here, this is, um, this one just bloomed for me not too awful long ago. This is Lone Star Blonde. It's a nice little mini cat Leia. And this little guy here, this is, um, I guess we're going to be doing a care collab with these guys not too long. This one's a little mad at me because I just up potted it, uh into a bigger pot but this is uh oncidium twinkle red fantasy this little guy here is so this big twinkle this is pink profusion that's a big twinkle and i recently potted it up so this little guy here this is uh this is a nice little plant um petite grace this one always blooms for me. So that, that new growth right there, it will definitely bloom. It's a gorgeous yellow little little blooms. It's a nice, nice little mini Cattleya. Blooms really great. 
so um hang on guys i'm gonna pause and move some of these so we can get to everybody behind there okay and we're back i apologize about the start stop but it's just kind of hard to do <laughs> this little sad fella here um he's really not happy stressing out a little bit um this was the yellow bird that uh bobby jeffries had sent me or no this is fuke star sorry <laughs> fuke star that uh bobby Jeffrey sent me from Cloud Force Vibes. It just was not doing good on the mount, so I took it off and decided to pot it. I thought it needed husk. It was needing more moisture because it just was not doing well. Now, this pretty little fella here, this is um, my gift from um, Daryl Adams and uh, my fellow West Virginia grower. Woohoo, West Virginia, huh, Daryl? <laughs> um, this is the... Uh, how do you say that? Uh, AK Akeas Aloha Dream Dust. Um, <clears throat> this one's the one he gave it to me because he wanted to see with along with because I have the Chantilly Lace Twinkle, so this one is a uh, cousin. <laughs> so actually, I mean, not doing too bad though. Uh, um, new growth, new roots. I mean, looking pretty good. I'm kind of anxious to see it bloom. So, definitely got new roots popping up everywhere. It loves husk. Loving that husk. Uh, <clears throat> let's see. Now who to do. This little guy, I got boosted up here. This is, um, I'm hoping that this sheath produces something this is uh the big long um gold shing fong <laughs> gold shin fong ha ha hui uh shin fong orange golden luck um i've had this thing since it was a seedling i've had it many years and i'm hoping finally maybe this time around that will possibly do something so far, no luck. <laughs> so I boosted it up to the light to, to see what we can't get it to accomplish. Ugh, this one here. This is, um, I've had this one for a long time too. This is BLC Solar Flare. This one's a real pretty um, yellow, white bloom. It's got like, uh, like white flares on it. Um, and I'm hoping the same thing out of the bigger growths back there because those are the newer ones. But we'll see. Like I said, I boosted it to the light too just to see if I couldn't help it out some. That beautiful big girl back here, right there, that is my Chantilly Lace Twinkle. Uh, doing great. She's got uh, two new growths on her this year. Um, I think that one there is the new one. And that one there yep out back those two are new that big tall uh dendrobium nobly um i'm definitely gonna find a home for it this spring it is a second chance it's pretty but uh it's just so big and so tall and i'm just I'm not into the Noblies anymore, which really I wasn't to begin with, but I bought it as a seedling and, you know, one thing led to another. <laughs> but uh, this little guy here, this is uh, Oncidium Sheriaforum. This is a parent to most of the Twinkles. Um, this guy, I don't know, it, it's hard to see. It's... Uh, hard to see its base and stuff it just kind of looks cruddy I don't know why it came like that I don't know why and that little growth there I don't know what it's doing it's all kind of jumbled up but we'll see what it does here in the future this little guy here I got this little cat Leia from um, high desert orchids um, it's bloomed once for me it does have another new growth right there. Um, 
I'm not sure if it's going to do anything. I really had hoped this last one was going to bloom, but it didn't too. So, um, this is a uh, Catlea Pink Splash. All right, guys, hang on one second. Okay, guys, I'm back again. I apologize about that, but sometimes it just is hard on my shoulders to hold the phone up here like that, so I had to take a little break. Um, this little guy here mounted, this is my um, Phalaenopsis celebensis. Um, doing really, really good. I was tickled to death to find one anyways, but uh, we're going to finish this shelf off and then that's going to be it because I don't want to make this one too, too long. This big gal behind you here, that is, uh, I need to need to move her, need to get her out. Um, I'm really hoping she blooms again. Um, that is, um, that was a rescue. That was a $10 rescue that I got years back. Well, not really that many ago, honestly. I'll have to look it up and see and maybe add it to the video. It ate the tag. There's absolutely no way I'm going to find the tag in there, but, uh, I'm going to look it up and see when I got her and, um, show you that uh yeah this thing it's beautiful um it's uh cornelia catlea cornelia calip calip calipana i think is how you say it uh the side of it there kind of hidden <laughs> that is um dendrobium dark joy michael mccarthy gifted me and this little guy here on the end this uh is uh uncidium or no it's mil miltodonium is that how they say it um pacific water pulse pride uh that one i've had it for a little while that's a nice grower nice bloomer but you guys um i really hated to you know that's about all we're gonna be able to do because this next shelf this is a really complicated shelf this has got my little mounts and stuff on it but we'll have to save it for next time. So, <laughs> with that said, um, you know, I want to thank you all for hanging out with me, stopping by, checking out my plants with me, and uh, doing this weekend walk around with me. Um, I appreciate all my viewers, all my new subscribers, all my old subscribers. Um, thank you. You guys are awesome. Uh, with that said, bye for now. Till we meet again, y'all.